Hey, welcome to my Edmonton housing market update. In this episode, you'll find out how the Edmonton real estate market did last month, the shift in the rental market, and what projects Edmonton just received federal funding commitment on. So let's dive in. I'm Jen McPhillamy with Yegg Pro Realty. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Edmonton housing market. So for the Edmonton real estate market period ending February 28th, 2019. Well, as you probably already know, we are still firmly in a buyer's market. The absorption rates last month for a single family detached home was 14.8%. And for a condo, the absorption rate was 10.74%. Essentially, that was your chance of selling last month. So there are 3,371 single family detached homes for sale last month and only 499 of those sold. That's how we came up with the absorption rate. As for condos, there was 1,992 condos for sale and only 214 of those sold. What we saw with the average price last month was that it increased from January, but it decreased since last February for both single family detached homes and condos. The average price for a single family detached home was about 419,000 and for a condo is about 219,000. According to the average days on market, things are selling a little bit faster uh, than they did last month. However, we know that these averages are kind of skewed, but we'll still look at them. So the average days on market for a single family detached home was 68 days in February. The average days on market for a condo in February was 77 days. So things that happen in the market that provide us with indications of how the market is going to react in the future months are things like the unemployment rate, the rental vacancy and rental price rates, and also the interest rates. So if all those categories were down, so we we're down in unemployment, we we're down in rental vacancy, and we we're down in interest rates, then it'd be a clear indicator that we're probably moving more towards a balanced market or maybe even a seller's market. However, in the city of Edmonton, this isn't happening. So the city of Edmonton Economic News just reported that 2,500 jobs, full-time jobs, were lost last month. Uh, we saw a little bit increase in the part-time sector, but I don't know how much that will really help with people looking to buy. Also, it was recently reported that rental rates are increasing, which means that vacancy rates are down. In addition, for interest rates, the Bank of Canada announced it's making no changes to the interest rates, so they're not going up and they're not going down, so we're kind of just staying the same. So unemployment increasing, rental vacancies decreasing, and interest rates staying the same, to me, this indicates that I think March will pretty much be the same as February. However, if you're an investor, this might be your time to start increasing your portfolio of properties. The federal government just announced that they'll be committing $1 billion to our West Valley Line and Metro Line LRT projects. So if you have the means for investing and building your investment portfolio, right now is a great time to buy properties around the areas where these new lines will be built. And the reason that I say that is because sellers might have an, more of an appetite to get rid of their properties in this market. In addition, with the vacancy rates going down, you have a better opportunity to rent your property out. So if you want more data on the real estate market, go ahead and check out the description below. I've included links and you can download the reports there. If you have questions about real estate in Edmonton, I'm always available, just reach out to me. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.